everything going on in the world has a well-being perspective to it, from the economy and AI to society and the environment. Taking a proactive approach to our personal health is an excellent starting point. But what does it mean to get wellbeing culture integrated into business strategy? I'm Annie Hood. Hello and welcome to Well Intel Daily. This is the podcast that showcases why wellbeing culture matters for you and your business. First, imagine the wellbeing universe as a swirling vortex. You know the sort, the twister tornadoes that we see in movies and increasingly in real life. You and I are at the narrowest point, at the bottom. We're at the grassroots and our impact for ourselves and the planet is a result of the everyday choices we make. And at the other end, the widest area of the vortex is the big picture window to the world that includes the economy, geopolitical, society, technology and the environment. And the space in between is that swirling vortex of business, of travel, of the workplace, of health, agriculture, leadership, communities, education, everything you can think of that is part of this world and has a well-being led perspective attached to it. Every single part of it has that. How those aspects are evolved and shaped depends on the associated strategy. So for a positive human and planetary impact, well-being has to be part of that conversation, of that formula, of the structure. Some examples would include how is health longevity and planetary sustainability supported through education? How will the production of food for all be protected throughout the world? Or how will the global economic model shift to respond to the more defined resource boundaries that climate change has made us see more clearly? Driving the priority and the relevance of wellbeing culture in business strategy has to be stewarded by world leaders and the big business leaders in our world. We all have a part to play. And collectively, we're very, very powerful, you and I. But in answer to the key question, what does it take to get wellbeing culture integrated into business strategy? It takes prescient leadership by people who see opportunity and urgency for a more humanly centric planet. Which leaders are doing the best job in your eyes? Tomorrow, business and performance growth will be redefined. How and why? Do share, follow and review and of course, be well.